solar eclipse in a few minutes. We're making our own uh, candle carbon glass frame uh, glasses to see for, from photo frames. And uh, do at your own risk if you ever decide to do this. Uh, I heat up the glass a little bit by holding it up so that it doesn't shatter, then lower it and coated it over and over now almost entire area is coated thickly you can move it back and forth to see if you see the flame if you see the flame go over again like this spot so it's not patchy here's some patience we'll do three frames this way Okay, we finished one frame. This is the second one. We'll actually do two when we have time. Takes about 15 20 minutes, maybe, or five minutes. If a bigger candle. Okay, don't uh, for not for too long. Done. Yeah, no, okay. no. Okay. Yep. Sun is full now. Eclipse didn't start yet. It's fully uh, bright sun up there. Okay, enough. Enough. Okay, this is to show that uh, I don't know if I'm capturing it. It's almost dark, but that's the sun there. That's the orange. Uh, Right there. I'll be verifying if this uh, solar eclipse glass uh, that we just made uh, blocks the infrared or not. This is a remote control controller that uh, works with this uh, DVD player. That open, as you can see. Opens, close at very short distance, about three feet away. Now I'll be using it. And uh, it does not work. On this side, it works right away, as you see, it opened. The uh, writing is open. Now I go behind it. Uh, look uh, through this towards the sun. Do you see the sun? Yeah. What do you see? Um, a, um, a circle and it looks like red and orange. Orange, yeah? It looks yeah. like red and orange. R reddish orange, right. Okay, not for too long. So very soon the sun will be covered by the Started. Oh, I see the ring. Oh, it's right there. Not for too long, okay. Give yeah. break and then look again. Oh, yeah, it's like 3D. Yeah, the paraffin wax that we coated with that kind of blocks the UV a little bit, and the, we showed that the infrared is also blocked by the paraffin uh, wax carbon coat. Camera is not capturing anything. You see it? Yeah, I see. I see not for one. too too long, okay. Mm -hmm. I see it. How does it look now? It looks cool. Hang on. Mm. Hold it like this. We'll cover it fully, okay? Mm -hmm. Cover it. Cover the sun. Oh. I see it. Oh, hey. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. How is it? Half? Uh, it's less than half covered and uh, pretty red. Yes. Where's the, where's the moon? I see. Is the that sun, the moon? sun getting covered with the moon, okay. 
Yeah, no, so not for too long. You can look again. Oh, see. see? How does it look? It's starting to break a little bit. Almost half. So as promised, we're watching it. The carbon is a little damaged here, but. And uh, the wax from the candle kind of takes, uh, works as a, probably works as a sunscreen against the infrared. And we also have the UV glasses on. Paraffin wax also stops some uh, UV as well. Okay, so we did it at our own risk. Many people are doing the same thing at their own risk, I hope so. If not, stay home, stay inside. Okay, hope you enjoy. Okay, so we are almost at the end. We get only 70% uh, of the eclipse. This is how we saw and uh, uh, it worked pretty well. And the candle carbon method. I personally wouldn't use the other uh, boot and torch or barbecue torch uh, flame makers because they don't give a coat of wax that blocks the infrared and a little bit of UV as well. Okay, hope uh, everybody enjoyed. This is only a do at your own risk thing because everybody is different and um, have fun. There will be more videos or uh, methods coming about uh, various other tricks tricks and techniques. Cheers.